What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK, talking about reductibly the darkest man who around today, guys. I'll be talking about Jump Force. Lord, oh Lord, have mercy. We got some news regarding this game. So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken and get that Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because the UK Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me just get on this. So, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying that Light Yagami will not be a playable character. And me, I'm not surprised. At first, I thought that he would be playable. I was interested to see how they'll make him work. A lot of people were saying Ryuk will fight. But after discussing with the likes of Ninja and other people on Discord, in my Discord server, if you guys want a link to that, link to that will be in the description below. We'll be doing a lot of events when it comes to Jump Force tournaments in terms of event nights. And also, we'll be doing other stuff regarding anime series to watch together as a group on Rabbit and all that stuff. So, there'll be a lot of stuff going on with anime games and with events as well that I'll be doing in my Discord server and also in occasion I will be live streaming some stuff as well in terms of me playing stuff like that with other people and all that stuff so if you guys want to join my Discord server link to that will be in the description below I highly recommend you guys join we can talk we can discuss things if you guys disagree with some of my opinions we can talk about it in my server so all of that information will be in the description below and yeah highly recommend that but back to what I was saying so Jump Force having Light Yagami not playable wasn't really a surprise to me. And the reason why I'm saying it wasn't a surprise to me because we discussed this yesterday with Ninja and like I said with other people in my server. And um, pretty much the consensus is that I felt like Light Yagami could be the mastermind behind the plot of what Jump Force is trying to do. All these heroes coming together and they're going up against a big bad enemy. And if you look at Light Yagami as a mind, as a, someone that's intelligent, someone that is smart he does seem like someone that could actually manipulate all of these villains to actually work for him in in a negative way in terms of stuff that could impact the story of um of jump force and one of the major reasons that i say that is due to the fact that with the story being heavily pushed on this game it would make sense for them to actually include characters that may not be playable so characters that could just be benefiting the story characters that can only be put in just for story mode purposes not to be playable as character i know a lot of people don't like the sound of that but in terms of what they're trying to do with the story in terms of what they're trying to do for this anniversary it makes sense for them to actually include characters in this way so not all characters are going to be playable some characters are going to be there to enhance the story experience for this game which makes a lot of sense because it makes sense why you see luffy in Times Square, why you see Goku in Times Square, why you see all these people in America. It makes sense why you see these people there. So, when it comes down to my overall thoughts and opinions about this, whether I like or dislike, I don't really mind because Light is not a fighter. <laughs> he's not a fighter. He is he's just not a fighter. So, since Light is not a fighter, and since people from Death Note are not necessarily fighters, it wouldn't make any sense for them to be fighters, you know what I mean? So, I'm not really surprised about that, but I do expect them to confirm other series like My Hero Academia, Yu Yu Hakusho, and other series. I'm going to make a video about that later on, talk about the roster and all that stuff. I will make that later on down the line, even I might even record it later today, depending on how I'm feeling, because I just got back from training and had my shower, and I'm just sitting here making this video inform you guys that Light Yagami will not be playable and no, no other character from Death Note will be playable on this game uh, we could see them featuring the story but as far as I'm aware of we will see a lot of other shonen characters that uh, a lot of people love a lot of people like to see and just a heads up if you guys are wondering how the story is going to work I expect Luffy, Naruto and Goku to be the leading main characters in terms of the hero's point of view in terms of using them the most in the story elements because obviously if they have a lot of characters they're not really going to be able to make everyone have a big role in the story so only certain characters will be having big roles in the story that will be put out there but like i always say i want to know what you guys think about all this news all this information of light yagami not being playable and what do you expect from the story obviously i will touch on the story and all that stuff in videos later on down the line but like i always say i want to know what you guys think leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below and yeah let's just wrap up this video so please comment and subscribe 
I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, this is UK. Trotter Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Work.